properties of rational numbers closure property this property says that when we add two numbers means if we add two whole numbers whole numbers are natural numbers inclusive of zero so if we add two whole numbers you get a whole number if you subtract two whole number you are going to get the number which is not which is not a whole number so when we talk about the closure property in terms of whole numbers for addition it's okay but for subtraction you get minus 2 which is actually not a whole number if you multiply see if we multiply 0 with 3 3 with 7 any number which are whole numbers so a into b will get a whole number otherwise if you divide 5 divided by 8 which is 5 divided by 8 is not a whole number which is that is you can say that whole numbers they are not not closed under division so the closure property is different for different operations when we talk about the properties on integers when we add two integers that is if it is a and b if we add two integers you always get a, a a number which is in turn will be an integer when we subtract two numbers again we'll get a number which is actually again an integer so now the integer is closed under addition also and subtraction also when we multiply again we get a number which is an integer see 5 into 8 is 40 and if you multiply some negative numbers together you always get a number which is positive and it is an integer so a and a into b or a and b they are also an integer but when we try to divide like 5 divided by 8 where 5 and 8 are integers you don't get a number which is an integer because here you can see the example here so we can see that the previous three means multiplication addition and subtraction in integer terms they are closed but for division it is not closed when we talk about rational numbers as we indicated rational numbers are the numbers which can be written in the p by q forms when p and q are integers q uh, should not be equal to zero because anything divided by zero is not defined you cannot divide anything by zero you have to have some number here these all are natural these are all rational numbers so these are all numbers any numbers can be written as p by q form how minus two i say it's a ra rational number how I can divide it by 1. So, uh, you know how to add two rational numbers now? If you want to add two numbers, I'll just give you a very, very uh, good way. See, first of all, we have to find out the LCM of these two denominators. So, I'll give, give you a very good idea. You just multiply 4 and 11, 4 into 11. Then you multiply 7 with 6. Then you multiply the denominator 7 into 11. So this is the solution. For all these you can do just retaining the sign. So when you add, when you uh, subtract, what you get? When you add two rational numbers, you get a rational number. When you subtract two numbers, you get a rational number. That is rational numbers, they are closed under addition and subtraction as well. Because ultimately subtraction, addition are nothing but see a plus b. And when you subtract, what are you what are you doing you are adding the negative of that number so when you take the difference also you'll get the number which is a rational number so a minus b also will be a rational number if a and b are rational number how about the product when we multiply it to p by q form you'll get always a rational number so if a and b they are rational numbers you multiply a into b you get a rational number and when you divide, see, this is one number, this is two number, and these are both the p by q form. So when you divide this, see, just, just devoid of zero. That means if you ignore zero, the rational numbers, they are not closed under division. So if you exclude zero, then the rational number will be closed under division. Because if you see this example, we are getting some minus 25 by 6. So you're getting in this case also you're getting some number which is a rational number and this rational number is uh, because I, I as i said that you cannot divide a by zero so you just have to exclude zero 
to make this or to to can to indicate this as the operation which gives you a rational number which is closed under division commutativity now commutativity means when we commute that means we are going from here and there so exactly that is happening in whole number when you commute if you add 0 with 7 or 7 with 0 addition is commutative you'll get the same answer subtraction multiplication division right if you subtract you'll not get uh, the same number say i uh, multiply 2 uh, say subtract 2 with 7 7 with 2 you get different different uh, result multiplication is a uh, commutative division will not be you can try it out because division will give you certain numbers which may not fall into the category of whole numbers integers also when you add or you can say commute if you say you are adding 2 with 3 or 3 with 2 you will get the same integer means the number which is an integer falls under the category of integer when you subtract again you will get uh, some number which may not be because subtraction is not commutative here because what happens here is I'm not got talking about the closure property. I'm not. I'm talking about the commutative property. That is, f five minus three is not equal to three minus five. These two are different numbers. So subtraction is not commutative, and multiplication is also commutative because if you multiply two with three and three with two, you are going to get the similar result. Division is also not commutative. You can try it. Rational numbers. When, when we come to rational numbers, when we add two rational numbers, that is p by q form, you see that the result will always be a rational number. Two rational numbers, they can be added in any order. So, if you add p by q with c by d, or rather, you can add c by d with p by q, you are going to get the same result. So, a plus b is equal to b plus a, a and b both are rational numbers. When you subtract the rational numbers since the results are going to be different that is why we say that subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers when you multiply there will be no problem if a cross b and b cross a if you commute a and b multiplication is going to give you the same rational number so it is commutative when we divide two numbers see this divided by this is not equal to this one divided by this as you see here so the expression on both sides they are unequal so that is why division is not commutative for rational numbers associativity associativity means if you add that is add two whole numbers it will be associative means you will get the uh, value properly if you associate also i will give you an example and then subtraction is not associative here right because we have four operations on whole number addition subtraction multiplication division if you multiply see this this is uh, a sort of a way to explain means 7 into 2 into 5 what i'm saying is do 7 into 2 first like this and then multiply by 5 the result will be same on both the sides so multiplication is associative when we divide you will not get uh, this means if i divide 2 divided by 3 divided by 5 this is division okay so if I divide 2 by 3, then the result will be by 5. It may not give the same result as if I divide 3 divide, divide by 5 and then divide it by 2. Integers, uh, for these four operations, addition, this is associative. If you add these two together, these two together and add with the third one, it is not going to give you, you know, a different result. So the result will be same. So A plus B plus C. Is equal to a plus b plus c if you add these two first these two first it doesn't matter in the subtraction it does matter because the sign will change that is subtraction is not associative under integers the multiplication associative you multiply this with this first this with this first you know any way you can do multiplication is associative but when you want to divide see minus 10 divided by 2 First you divide these two, then divide by minus 5, or you do other way around, you divide these two, then divide the result by minus 10, the division will the division will be different, the result will be different. So division is not associated. Rational numbers. Rational numbers when it comes to addition. See, when we add this 
or when we add in this way means I'm adding these two first or rather I'm adding these two or I can take these two together also so if we see here the result closely these two sums are equal or rather any other of way you can combine these the results will be same so addition is associative for rational numbers so a plus b plus c means b plus c you are adding first and a plus c you are adding here so these remain same when it comes to subtraction you will clearly see in these two results the results will be different so subtraction is not associative with respect to rational numbers when we come to multiplication there will be no problem if you multiply these two together first or these two together first or rather a into c into b it's not going to give you a different, res different result so the multiplication is associative with multiplication division yes here the things will be different if i take these two and divide it by half or if i take these two and then the result will be 2 by 5 the results are going to be different so we can say the division is not associative for rational numbers. Let us take a few examples. This is what we can do. How to add these all as I just suggested earlier. You can take the LCM of this 7, 11, 21, 22 which comes out to be 4, 6, 2 and then you can just add the numerators because we now you have made the denominator as the LCM. And the result will be something like this. You just have to perform these operations, simple operation. We, we can also solve in, in some different way. You can combine these two. Use this one and this one. And this one and this one. Why? Because 7 is the multiple or you can say 21 is the multiple of 7. 7 is the 21. And 22 is the multiple of 11. That is why we have combined it so that the formation or the computation of LCM becomes easy for us. 721 we know 21 will be the LCM, here 22 will be the LCM. So easily we can add them, finally you get the same result. So in this way we can give one more example. So if you want to combine these two, or multiply these two, we can multiply these two, these two and the result is going to be half. Or we can take in another way, means we can use the commutativity and associativity. Means I'm taking now this with this one and this with this one. Multiply them. Why we are taking this? Because 4 4s are 16, 5 3s are 15, 3 3s are 9, 7 2s are 14, and you're going to get the result which you wanted, and the computation will be quite easy. So the